Hi everybody, I'm Phil Hill, uh, here at the BP Portrait Awards 2010, sponsored by BP, who as we know are the largest, largest corporate uh, uh, polluters uh, in America ever, which is, which is quite a thing. But we're going to go and see if it's a slick event, we're going to go and see if lots of, lo lots of oil has been you know, thrown over canvas, and uh, we'll, 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 see, we'll see how good the work is, darling. Let's go and have a look at some of the work. It's wonderful though, I mean you can see so many young people enjoying art because of BP. Um, BP have given this art to people. It's a shame they've taken away, you know, the environment. Through the Gulf, it's very nice. From the Gulf of Mexico, thank you. Through the Gulf, Monsieur. It's very nice. Thank you. You know, there's something about this event that's just so slick. It's the slickest event of the season. And, you know, I know a lot of birds that would die to be here. It's very good. Thank you. This, this woman, it speaks to me because she's really lost lost in the ocean, possibly lost, lost in the Gulf of Mexico um, with an iPod on, which is very contemporary. Through the Gulf, you do not like, sir? Let's look at this piece. This is another remarkable example of oil, of oil on canvas. And, you know, this piece really speaks to me. It speaks to me of destitution. It speaks to me of hope. And it speaks to me of the impression that BP have given of putting oil on canvas but also releasing it into the Gulf of Mexico. You do not like the crude Gulf? No, it's good. But it's okay? What is it? It's like licorice or something. It, it is from the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, I see. This yes. is a common. It is from BP. It is oil. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is cut. We have plenty to give away. Would you like some crude, crude Gulf? Uh, Oh yes, here, here. Um, this piece over here uh, by uh, Miguel Angel Mauve really is a wonderful, another wonderful example of oil on canvas. Uh, and he's also painted a number of marine mammals with oil as well. 1924. It's a very good year. He's looking away. He's thinking about how to plug the leak. He's wondering how he's going to plug it, and he's not sure. I think I'd like, you know, I'd like to see, I'd like to see oil on canvas used in a different way. You know, why don't we have any porpoises here? I, I, you know, I don't see any pelicans. I don't see anything that's really relevant. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't allow drinks with paintings. In the uh, it is not a drink. It is oil. It is for your car. Uh, didn't they drink this? Are you crazy? <laughs> No, crazy man. I think we might be supremely lucky here to actually have the artist present. Um, as you can see, it's a favourite with everyone because it's deep, you know, like underwater drilling. And I bet you would join me in saying that we'd, we'd, not another pelican should suffer because of oil paintings. You know, not another, not another kestrel, not another porpoise, not another pelican. Oil's too valuable. Put it on the canvas. Take it out of the sea. This piece here, I think, really is the most relevant because someone's just splashed black oil on canvas. Like an open canvas, they've just splashed it on. A little like the ocean was their canvas. But then when you draw up, when you draw up, you see that the nature of the work is actually totally different. It's totally different. It's actually a human being. I mean, I was expecting to find at least a porpoise, uh, at least a pelican. But actually what we've got is black and then a human being. You know, a bit like a bit like the human being has actually become the oil, you know. I mean I would have just taken this section here and said that was the that was the modern reflection of things. And on and on. <laughs> 